Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integration problem by partial fraction. We notice there is cos x everywhere. So let's take t equal to cos x. But we cannot use dt because we don't have sin x. Now integration 1 minus t numerator and denominator is t into 1 plus t and we have dx. Let's take the expression alone which is 1 minus t by t into 1 plus t and we notice the degree of numerator is 1, degree of denominator is 2 so it is a rational expression and the denominator is having two different factors one is t another is 1 plus t as we already discussed about the partial fraction rule when the denominators are different we apply the first rule which is a by first factor plus b by second factor if there is a third factor then c by third factor. Here we have two factors one is t so a by t and another is 1 plus t so b by 1 plus t then we have to take lcm lcm is t into 1 plus t so this will become a into 1 plus t plus b into t now we are going to equate both the numerator as both the side denominators are same so 1 minus t equal to a into 1 plus t plus bt now we have to take suitable value for t let's take t as 0 then 1 equal to this will become 1 and this is 0 it is only a and b will not be there so we got the value of a itself which is 1 then the second value let's take t equal to minus 1 so this will become 2 equal to and this part is 0 and this will be minus b so from this the value of b is minus 2 we got the value of a and b this we are going to substitute in the step where we applied the partial fraction rule so a by t so integral 1 by t but we have dx similarly plus integral b by 1 plus t so this is minus 2 by 1 plus t and we have dx since the integration is with respect to dx we have to replace the t in terms of x. So this is 1 by cos x dx and minus 2 by 1 plus cos x dx. Now coming to this, it will be taken to the numerator. So this is secant x dx minus 2 taken common. Then we have 1 by 1 plus cos x is 2 cos square x by 2 dx. We can cancel these two. Now again this term we can take to the numerator. So this is secant x dx minus integral secant square x by 2 dx. And the formula for secant x is log mod secant x plus tan x minus and the formula for this is tan x by 2 by 1 by 2 plus c. We have to divide by the coefficient of x. Now this becomes log mod secant x plus and the second term is minus 2 tan x by 2 plus c. 